Hey everybody, what is happening? East Daily East, I am back with some more Madden 16 Ultimate Team gameplay. We are in the playoffs, you saw the last video. Uh, Smoke that dude, they rolled at us, so we did get the first round by. And we're going to try and roll this out, uh, get a couple wins, and put us in the Super Bowl. So we're going to come up, we got the ball, of course, home field, of course, because we got that practice field, which is always at home now. Um, first round, we get the uh, wide trap. He's going to be running to the... Uh, it was cover threes, and, and I believe it was. So we're going to hit him on the side there, get high and see if we go. Oh, almost got him to scoot back in there, but uh, you know that will always, unless they're running uh, purples over there, that thing's going to tear that one up. Uh, we flow out to the right. We're going to hit Hines on the other side, and dang man, he breaks that one and almost, almost again. But uh, the momentum carried him out of bounds. But two plays, and we, I mean, oh sorry, three there. We're already, we're already getting down on those pass ones, and we let David Johnson get outside. He's got enough speed to get around these guys for the most part. See, especially when you're uh, blizzing up the middle like that. So, here we go, first and ten. Now, let's see what the offense is going to be like. Okay, and we're going to get the big sack from J.J. Watt to start off. There we go, buddy. Um, you know, it's a, i got to get some heat off of there, especially when I'm only running like three guys at a t on occasion there. So, got to make that. Oh, I run too deep. I It was the right idea. I just was waiting for him to break over, and he never did. I kind of ran through that one. But that's okay. I figured I was at least in line, had an idea of what he was doing. So, oh, damn, third and 16. Tries to get that rocket launch jump ball. And, dude, come on, bro. You don't want to do this to yourself, man. Like that early in the game, you don't want to, you don't want to be giving the ball up like that. You know, you might as well punt it, man. But, ugh. Because, you know, if you go down 14 right there, man, you're, you know you know how that goes, guys. It's just snowballs. So we're going to come right away. And, of course, the swing. And, and uh, you know, my man out there locks up the blocks, man. That's what he does. Uh, Mr. Mr. B. Marshall, he comes around. That's, and that's kind of why I got him playing number one, you know, for sure. So my man gets the uh, second attempt on offense. Come down there. And, man, I don't get the uh, jump animation. But we, we do crash and take his legs out. So it's still enough to uh, knock the ball down. So, all right, we're in line there at least. And, again, we're bringing the heat down through there. Is that a JJ coming big on, on that, man? So I uh, like what I see out of that guy. Oh, come on. Come on, man. That's even Taylor amazing coverage there. Uh, didn't didn't turn around. But at the same time, man, he make making a play we want to see. Um, never running this one. Fourth, fourth and ten here. And, jeez, man, these guys are locked down. Rondé barber out there um locking that down for sure so we're gonna get the ball i guess right then i um, not really gonna get a chance to do too much offense if i keep getting the ball in the red zone to start you know it's just <laughs> i guess i guess that's how it's how it's gonna fall fall to oh man so real quick we're still in the first in the minute minute seven left and we got the 21 to nothing lead here uh, unfortunate, fortunate for this guy, man. It's just, it's just, you know, when it rains, it pours, man. And this is one of those games where everything starts falling apart, and you get down big, and then you just start launching stuff. You know, just don't even, don't even run the plays. He probably normally would. You just start launching everything, thinking that's gonna work. And pff, LT on the other side, uh, dudes, dudes. I mean, I only got a few guys on half these plays, and they are doing work for me, though, man. Uh, come out, we got two guys over there. Tries to get the one-handed. <laughs> oh man, so we got it, we got it back. We got a chance to score good in the first quarter uh, a little jump off sides by a homeboy okay we'll get it back we'll get it back so let's see if he uh, i figure i like to put the a on on the uh, out on this i said because if he runs a blitz like that i mean he had, he had pressure on me and we still get that one out it turns really fast for whatever reason so um that's what i was telling some people why i add that onto the pa shot the pa draw shot add that tight end on the out there um so we get this one now. First and ten. Sixteen seconds left. And CJ Spiller, let's give him a chance to run around the outside. Okay, so 28, 28 nothing in the first. Oh man, poor poor dude, man. Okay. So we'll come back around, and you see right here, I'm taking uh, and running my bro's defense, uh, Cephalon, my bro. Uh, which this is one of the ones he likes to do, which is just, um, you know, basically you're taking quarters, you're running that man three, and then you're uh, base aligned, and then you're showing blitz, and I like to use the middle guy out there. But right now I've got a backup. Um, he's given the chance to quit. He don't want to do it. But see, yeah, this is my number three, which is safety, and I actually run the Pat Pete. So I was like, well, if I'm going to run this, if I'm going to run this D, um, I mean, at least of the concepts, and maybe find some other plays out of it. I probably need to get another safety that I could actually use her, though, uh, to be a little bit better to run that if I'm going to run that that scheme out there. But and and I and I do uh, feel to mix that in. So oh geez, man, you gonna go for this again on the punt? Really, bro? Come on, man. <laughs> what are you thinking? And night, just throw the nitrate. Just 
Jeez. So, yeah, and again, man, uh, Stefan bro is starting up a new channel. Um, so, yeah, But he's doing a lot more packs than I do and stuff like that if you're into that. So uh, go ahead, check his uh, channel out. I'll leave a link to that one in the uh, description here. Um, you know, he's hooking me up with a couple cards this year and, uh, you know, and, and uh, let me borrow in the Ronnie Lot, which I got uh, out of position Ronnie Lot using that one in, in these games right here. Even though he's not quite showing up because this dude, like, just when you think it couldn't get uglier, he found a way to make it happen right there. Um, so, but yeah, unfortunately he's not thrown to the other side of the field and it's like, all right, man. So I was just hoping, I was like, please bro, like you got to end the pain. We got to end the suffering. Cause I mean, I, at one point I'm sitting here like, well, if he doesn't quit, I'm kind of wondering how many points can I score on him? You know, legitimately like, you know, I mean, could I, could I get 70, 75, hundred, you know, somewhere a hundred. I mean, I don't know with what he's doing. I mean, he's not running. He's just killing the clock. So, uh, fourth and 21. And if I, and if I keep getting it on the 10 to 20, I'm sitting like, uh, but at the same time, I don't want to do that. And, and okay. Okay. So Gilbert Brown, he's even showing up. Everyone's getting a sack. Uh, and luckily, luckily, thankful for us all. Um, he, he does finally quit out right there. So appreciate that. Um, you know, dude, it, for, for doing that, man. Um, really helpful and um i did go afterwards i was like you know what again like i said if i'm going to run that why not get the out of position that calvin put him in there it's really just for one formation because i don't really want to use him over anybody else but i you know he was like 55k i figured let's uh let's give him a shot you know uh you know he's obviously got great size speeds uh you know i wish the acceleration was better on it you know 92 speed is good enough but at acceleration 89 i wish it was a just a little higher to make that call but i guess it'd be really dominant then um but Obviously, as you figured, the jumping on the card, the uh, all the catching on the card is great, you know, and, and catching traffic and all of that. And he's, but he's also got hit power, which is real nice, you know. Spec cast ninety eight, um, you know, but that you know having a hit power even a ninety three, I think is 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 pretty nice to get, you know. I mean, for that. So here we go, uh, here we go. The uh, the final game before Super Bowl, if we can if we can win this one, that is, I should say, you know. So uh, going up against Kid here, we're gonna start off with a little swing. Oh, I missed the timing of that one. Okay, no biggie, no biggie. Uh, as long as you don't turn it over, that's okay. So just like the other game, we're gonna go right back into this one. Uh, see if we can get our crow play going. And 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 I see that he doesn't have any uh, light blue, and I'll kick that down right away. Always looking for the light blue on the side if you are gonna kick out the running back out there. So um, we know we like to match that one up with this, uh, and the coverage dictates. You know, if he's running like a cover one hole or something like that. Again, we get Broyles out there. Um, you know, try to get him in when we can. Uh, it's definitely nice to spread the ball around that way. At least my guys aren't getting too winded. But as you see, we are gonna start mixing in C.J. Spiller more into this game play um you know or just all in all and we're gonna go and we're gonna hit a nice we got the the, the two routes out there uh, we are gonna hit the heinz ward on the seam in that one i had both of them really i could have went to and that works out and there's cj i can say getting that i just nice i feel uh, he's really good at doing a lot of the receiving stuff and it's nice to keep uh, cj2k fresh um so it's a he's a, he's a pretty good third for for the value i think it's still worth keeping and again we're going to kick this one out just like you've seen before um real nice gonna get that one in stride to do like you're supposed to and look at the block and holding up and then even even another shout out to by brandon marshall so uh, again that's that's really helpful on plays like that that i'm running when you got some beasts out there that can that can uh, take care of their man for you so come down we're gonna get eric kendrick stuffing that stuffing that run for us so second second 12 here and uh we got on the outside and look at lt busting free dude he is he's a beast out there man pretty happy with that guy you know he, he does he does what i need and i uh, i guess wrong man i thought for some reason that route was coming in i should have realized he was gonna turn that one out but you know i didn't i knew that if he hit the middle of the field it would have been wide open so that's kind of why i went that way and oh nice eight. Tavon Austin sighting. Uh, I thought I had that one stuff, stuff, but he manages to run around my guys. Uh, but you, Night Train, not having that. You know, I'm always. He's like he's one of those guys. that's kind of funny. Every time uh, Night Train tackles somebody, you're like, "Where's the fumble? Where's the fumble?" You know, you just expect it. He's such a beast, man. But I uh, saw so a couple little uh, easy run, a little bit of run there, getting cleaning it up. Um, managing to you know it's a lot of plays on the drives but you know it's whatever gets you the first down you know if i i get a lot of my stuff in chunks uh you know at times and uh and when the defense is on and all that, I make you work for for you know work for a lot of the shorter ones and, and stuff like this. Oh, and Derek Brooks almost almost taking him for the loss, but he's just gonna, just gonna get enough yardage in there, man. So unfortunately, and they look at LT again, dude, hit him on the back. Uh, should have been a sack, should have been a sack, but that's okay. He lucked out on that. Uh, the ball drops out, uh, but you know we all catch those breaks, of course. And nice nice kick down. Uh, the guys not getting my guys are getting tired from I guess just too much chasing out there. Kendrick says, I mean he he was in position, but. He 
it was just really slow if you noticed that. And, oh man. So now there's one like if it's this game was like real life, like Tony Romo would have fumbled and broke his collarbone. It wouldn't be playing anymore. But unfortunately, it's just a game, man. You know. So and he plays a nice play. There's a nice pass by Homeboy right there. And on third, a second and third, we stuff him actually there. Um, and 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 then we kick. He kicks it out, and we got a bad angle. Bad angle by uh, Night Train. Uh, he crashed in there. Unfortunately, man, if he would have actually uh, stayed on the outside a bit, uh, we easily would have made the tackle on there. But uh, that's that's the works of it. So 23 seconds left. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna dial up the PA read. We're gonna put A on a streak. We got X on a uh, on a in right here, and there's our man right there, man, doing right where we needed, doing what we need. 16, 15. There we go, man. So he worked real hard to get down there to tie that game up, man. And and then he would have had the ball next. So obviously this is huge. You know, you go from uh, him having a chance to take the ball out of the third and then get a touchdown lead on you, you know, from me going up and taking the lead in here. So you see that just break right through there, man, and just enough, just enough to keep that going. Uh, I mean, if this guy had a little bit more speed on him, dude, it'd just be, it'd be too much. Um, so we come down now, third quarter after that. Uh, we, like I say, we got 14-7. You know, that's, that's where we want to be, man. Now now it's just about coming out here and trying to stop him from uh, tying the game up, really. You know, that's what we're, what we're hoping for. Oh, man, got a good return, a uh, decent return out there. Uh, almost, you know, that Tavon pretty slippery, man. One one guy to beat, man. That guy could be gone for you. And that's one position I probably need to look at is getting a uh, kick returner. I had those Dion's and I sold them before I really even gave them any work because hey, it's just the price wasn't worth it for me to have that. I can get like a dry dry archer probably, you know, for a kick returner. And uh, nice Sean Taylor laying the boom out there, man, on on uh, Mari Cooper. But you know, no uh, no fumble, no fumble. So. Again, he's he's gonna start. He's gonna continually uh, try here to march it down. You know, slow but steady, slow but steady. And he's got it back there. We got that. We got the read on that. And oh, he nice moves on that. You know, I was playing for him to come outside. And whoa, man! Luckily, uh, Derek Brooks saves that man because Night Train let go, and I thought he was gone for a second there. I thought dude was le legitly gonna be gone on that man. That's you know, play the way we should have had him stuffed on. But and there we go. Oh, just the arm up, just the hand up, man. So he tries that seam in there, but uh, not really seeing what angle. That I had a uh, Taylor on, and we spread our home. We spread our guy out there. We got Brooks out there, and he flies in. Uh, and what I anticipated, accidentally changed the camera angles. Apologize, and I knew he hit those outs before because of the man I was running. So we covered it that time around, and we get a nice break, and we do get the ball back. So real nice way to go. And I make the right read there, but I overcut that. Um, that, that you know, if you turn that in, but if I come in just off my own tackle and not turn into him, man, there's actually a good amount of yards out there for that. Um, come down, we're gonna keep this one down fast. That's what we want to see. Uh, C.J. Spiller out there, almost. Almost after the spin getting away, but that's okay. So second eleven, we're gonna come back that that direction, and oh, okay. It's actually my fault because again, I I, I don't realize I was going up and left on that up and right on the uh, pass lead. So I go right back to it again. You know, just I was just being stubborn because I was so uh, you know I was kind of disappointed in myself for screwing that up. So we get some yards, but I should have thrown that sooner. So uh, you know that's what happens when you let emotion get involved. So fourth and six though, we're gonna go. We're gonna hit Ryan Broyles. He's gonna go down. So uh, it, you know from what I've asked from him so far, dude has been clutch. The campus card has been clutch. And look at David Johnson with nice spin. He doesn't have a huge spin rating but his spin I found is really good man so I uh, definitely uh, like the mixture of these three backs that I've got here uh, working out pretty good for me CJ go through I mean, a tough run there. David, real tough run. That's what, you know, he's real good. That Then falling over the stack. So we'll come down here. We're going to get first and go. Let's, let's see if we got David again. See if maybe we can get him in there. And he's easy money. Easy money. So 222 left. Um, looking good right now. But, uh, you know, that doesn't, you know, you, you obviously still got to worry about the guy scoring quick on you and then maybe getting lucky and getting the ball back. So uh, we'll see how, this, see how this one goes. And, Oh, we got Calvin out there. I put Calvin out there, and unfortunately, I don't get to that play in time. A little slow for myself. That's just my own fault, not Calvin's. And we got a guy in there. We break that one up. So nice uh, nice coverage. Everybody, we're trying to lock it down. We are trying to lock that man down real good. And, oh, man, that's a scary screen, bro. I'm all over that one, man. I kind of anticipated that, so we sent two guys on his uh, halfback out there. Um, and there we go, kicking it out. And, jeez, man. 
So fourth five, fourth five. We can stop this. Get the game. And I knew he was going that way. At, at, you know, at that point, and I thought I could undercut a route. I'm not fast enough out there. I shouldn't have been too tr too sneaky. I should have just tried to stay on the route and force him to go a different direction. Would have been better off. But sometimes you try to be a little cute, you know. But there we try to put the shoulder into his face with Ronnie Lott, and uh, we got the nice hit, the 99 hit power. I think that one's at. But unfortunately, he does not give it up. Oh, and we go, and we do make the hit on the backside. Luckily, luckily, man, because he almost had that. But, or we go, another screen out there, see if we can get wide on that. He does get some yards in, come back in. So, um, always kind of dangerous juking back in near the sidelines. That's where I notice my guys will tend to fumble if I do try to make that play. Oh, and we've got a backup in. They both go for the ball, and I lose that. Whoa, whoa, man. I uh, didn't even see I had a backup. I would have called the timeout. We got the kick in, bounce those off my guy's nuts. So, unfortunately, uh, I guess he's going to get the ball back. I mean, so we go from being up by two touchdowns to having a chance here for this guy to tie it up or even even score and, and go for the two-pointer. Go, go savage on me, you know. And All right, we got Rondé out there. Dude just covers, man. It's so hard to get rid of that guy, man, just because even though he's short, he, dude, he just makes plays all the time, man. Doesn't matter where I put him. He's a playmaker. Um, come down, and he's uh, you know just going to try and – Again, he takes shots out here, you know, but at the same time, he has no problem going to the doing sides and throwing underneath still. He was 30 seconds checking down, and but he's, he's getting yards, and there's a lot again lighting him up, but homeboy holds on to the ball, man. He had a decent enough game there from his girly, uh, and we got this. We got them. We got those routes covered pretty well. You know, I know they're normally good man beaters, but we've got that one locked down pretty well so far today. Uh, but there, man, he's just chipping away, just chipping away at me, man. 15 seconds, and then, that's when you start creeping in, being like, are you kidding me? Is this really really going to happen right now and there we go and again we've got those corners covered pretty well man we're doing what we can um change up the d over here and i don't know why i was so far underneath there i shouldn't have been worried about any of that stuff with that amount of time out there so dude gets down to the two yard line so, uh, you know, I, I stuffed him earlier on the inside run, so I guess it came down to what was he going to plan on doing here. Um, and, I, and, you know, I try to keep a good front to show that, I, you know, to show that I'm looking for that, but I really want to look for the tight end. And we, we go down, and we, we, two of the guys, I jumped that, and Watt steals the fuser pick from me, but I don't care. That's totally fine with me, Watt. You do what you got to do, bro. Uh, you know, and if it's winning the game for me, we will take that, man. So uh, check that one out. And look at that. We even get the achievement of unlocked for turning down the Watt for getting a user pick with J.J. Watt, even though we didn't get one, but apparently uh, J.J. Watt stealing my user pick was good enough to unlock that achievement. Well, all right, there you go, whatever. <laughs> so uh, good game, good game, and hell of a comeback by that guy, man. I, I was worried, man. I you know I only had the ball three times on offense. I scored every time, but yet it was that close. So thank you guys for checking us out, man, and uh, I will see you all next time. Peace.